I need your driver's license or any ID that you have. And if I refuse? Then I'll arrest you for obstruction. Is that right? And I'll be taken to county? Yes. Okay. Under threat of arrest, we're going to seize, because I do not consent to a search and seizure of my property. You don't have to. So you're forcing me? Yes. Have you been recording since you got here? Absolutely, 100%. Okay. I need your, I'm seizing your phone as evidence. Are you really? I need it. Okay. I'm not going to give you my phone. Yes, you are. Why is that? Because it's evidence in You the, asked for my ID, I gave you my ID. Listen, I'm not going to answer your questions if you're going to interrupt me. Every seizures of my property. Every seizures of my property. I do not consent to search and seizures of my property. Every It's mine now. It's a On January 10th, 2024, Good Citizen was at the Sedgwick County Department of Health in Wichita, Kansas. In fact, I'm sure you'll remember it because of this. Have you been reporting since you got here? Absolutely, 100%. Okay. I From the to I'm seizing your phone as evidence. Are you really? I need it. I need your driver's license or any ID that you have. And if I refuse? Then I'll arrest you for obstruction. Is that right? And I'll be taken to county? Yes. Okay. Under threat of arrest, you're going to seize, because I do not consent to a search and seizure of my property. You don't have to. So you're forcing me? Yes. I'm not going to answer your questions. If I do not consent to every... search and seizures of my property. Well, since we released that video for Good Citizen, and since his rights were violated by the Sedgwick County deputy, he's been busy. In fact, not only did he get the body cam that we're going to share with you here today, he got something else that's pretty interesting. It's an email from the chief of the Sedgwick County Courthouse Police in regards to the lawfully solid trespass that this cop issued. The lawfully solid trespass that caused this cop to steal his phone, go hands-on, and violate his First and Fourth Amendment right in the sake of said trespass. Let's read what the email says. Mr. German, you had contacted the Sedgwick County Sheriff's Office with the following question. Number one, am I currently trespassed from the Sedgwick County Health Department located on West Central in Wichita, Kansas? No, you are not currently trespassed from that facility. That said, I would point out that the property's entrance indicates that walk-ins are open for medical services only. Daryl L. Haynes, Chief, Sedgwick County Courthouse Police. So let's jump into the body cam from this event. But before we do, this whole thing stinks and raises a lot of red flags, which is why this deputy just cost Sedgwick County a whole lot of money because Good Citizens retained himself a lawyer and he's taking this to the fullest extent of civil litigation. Let's not forget, Good Citizen tried to educate this cop and save him and the taxpayers a lot of money by informing him that it was a public building and he couldn't be trespassed without committing a crime. The cop didn't care about anyone's rights, he only cared about his ego. So in the name of this trespass, he stole his phone, forcefully removed him from the property and restricted his First Amendment right to free press, all in the name of a trespass that wasn't legal then and isn't legal now and isn't respected or upheld by the chief of police. Well, deputy, instead of just your job, I'd say bye-bye to that qualified immunity. Please stand by as the first few seconds of the body cam is muted, but we aim to please. He forgets to mute it the rest of the time. This cop's own body cam will catch him talking to himself, begging for people's help, and admitting to setting up this auditor. In fact, it'll catch him talking to people that aren't even there. Oh, thank you. Okay. Yeah. It, the hardest part is because they know that you're a public um, building. It's a government agency still. It's Central County. And so it's just like ours. You know, Anybody can come to the city building. Yes, we have trespass, but it usually takes a, a lot of incidents for us to finally remove somebody. Yeah. Or escort them when they show up. <laughs> Pay attention to the cop that's speaking. He's going to make several appearances in this video. And every time he does, he advocates for the auditor and explains that it's his constitutional right to be there, that the building they're standing in, the very building that called, is a public building, and he has every right to be there, and they can't legally trespass him. But that's not going to be enough. 
for the dirty deputy whose body cam you're watching now, and he won't be so easily thwarted. <laughs> so that would be the one thing is uh, the deputies out here uh, probably just let them figure out what they're going to do on that side, and okay. they could probably okay. give you a call back afterwards. Thank you. All right, thanks. So... So he was asked to leave when he was in the lobby, right? So he was asked to leave when he was in the lobby, right? So he was asked to leave when he was in the lobby, right? <laughs> you give a cop a chance to be dirty and he won't disappoint you. These people were just told by another cop that this guy has every right to be there and they can't remove him from the building because it's public. But as soon as he had a chance, this dirty deputy jumped on the chance to violate this citizen's rights. Somebody told him to leave? I asked, I asked her and she said, yeah, they asked him to leave. Okay, can I talk to her? Can you show me who that is? He said he's getting ready to leave too, so. He said he's getting ready to leave too, so. He said he's getting ready to leave too, so. Whether the other cop is decent or he's trying to save his partner's job and the city from a decent lawsuit, you should take notice to what just happened. He notices that his partner has made the decision already before even investigating. He's decided that this auditor is going to jail. So his partner is subtly dropping hints that that doesn't need to happen. This guy's just getting ready to leave. But evil sometimes just can't be stopped. Yeah, um, if somebody asked him to leave, we're going to do a trespass case on it. Because he's going to refuse to give you info. Oh, yeah. He oh, gave is his he? first name of Michael, and that's all he would tell me. Okay. And making small talk with him, he's from probably around the Chicago area, but he wouldn't give me much information, and I have no idea what vehicle he's in. Last, okay. uh, last week when they were looking on a YouTuber on Facebook, they found the one from Delano, and you know, I had like seven followers. <laughs> okay, real big. Real big fan base, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Real big, real big fan base, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Real big, real big fan base, I guess. Yeah. Your blood boiling yet, folks? He's only got seven subscribers. Not a real big fan base. Certainly a small enough fan base where we can violate his rights and no one will hold us accountable. Personally, that's why I do videos like this. So the dirty cops out there know that regardless of the person that's filming or how small their channel might be. It can still get to the masses, and those same masses will hold those dirty cops accountable every time. By the way, Deputy Head, my fan base is considerably larger. And they consist of we the people. Enjoy retirement. Not sure how the court systems are going to let you stay in that job that much longer. But that's, that's why I was doing both six of it. I won't come up here since the father heard you're going to be. I know what we to do. Hi. Hi. I'm trying to figure out who talked to the guy that showed up up front. So I started the conversation with him, and then um, the lab tech or the lab manager went up there. Okay. Because I've run him around yeah. here. So I initiated the conversation with him to ask him if he was checking in for an appointment or if he needed services. And he said no, that he was just videotaping. And I said, well, you can't 
you can't videotape here because we have clients here and they don't want to be videotaped. Mm -hmm. And when, that's when one of our clients specifically told him that she did not want to be videotaped. Right. And so what he did then was turn around and videotape her. And so he, you know, start, started his spiel, started his spiel, started his spiel. My mind is absolutely blown. That's what standing up for your rights is? In 2024, not allowing someone to strip you of your inalienable rights is a spiel. That's what a true, purebred tyrant would say. And said, if you don't want me to, then you can call the cops. And so she said, I will. Okay. And I said, you need to leave. You know, you're not welcome here. Our clients feel threatened. You know, he, he wouldn't. What did he say, or how did he respond when you asked so, him to leave? So, you know, the public, this is a public building, blah, 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 blah. And I said, I understand, but, you know, our clients have a level of privacy that they expect. So, you know, we don't want you here videotaping our clients. Mm -hmm. And he pretty much said he could do whatever he wanted. Jesus stayed after you asked him to leave? Absolutely. Did. Okay. Do you, um... Mm -hmm. Do you mind if I just copy your information down? Do you have a uh, driver's license, Andy? Do I have mine? Yeah. Um, yeah, I have to get it. That's fine. Listen, I'm trying to find my coffee. I know, you got a lot going on. I'm going to go talk to this guy, if okay. you don't mind. Michael? Yeah. Hi. How's it going, buddy? Great. Are you Michael? Good, yeah. Okay, we're going to go outside and have a conversation, okay? okay? Can we just have it right here? No. Why not? Because you've been asked to leave. Okay, so am I being trespassed under threat of arrest? Yes. Can I get your name and badge number? Deputy Norton D1940. Okay, that's all I need. Thank you very much. Okay, we're going to go outside and have a conversation. You're not free to leave. Uh, am I being detained? Yes. Actually, really? What crime have I committed? Well, they asked you to leave and you didn't, so I'm investigating this as a trespass. Okay. Seven traffic six, I'm going to be out front interviewing the suspect. I need your driver's license or any ID that you have. And if I refuse? Then I'll arrest you for obstruction. Then I'll arrest you for obstruction. Then I'll arrest you for obstruction. I need your ID. I'm going to violate your Fourth Amendment right for a trespass that never happened. And if you don't give up your Fourth Amendment right or you try to fight me while I take your Fourth Amendment right for not committing a crime and for not trespassing, then I'll arrest you for obstructing my ability to arrest you for not trespassing in the first place. Cop logic makes my brain hurt. Is that right? And I'll be taken to county? Yes. Okay. Under threat of arrest, we're going to seize, because I do not consent to a search and seizure of my property. You don't have to. So you're forcing me? Yes. Okay. Where you live on it is. I'm off the team. City officers came in. Seemed like everything was under control. That county deputy coming in here threatened me with arrest for trespassing. Trying to trespass me for a public building and unlawful detainment. Do you have body camera? Yeah. Is it on? Yeah. Okay. What's your phone number? 81922AM. Okay, so you're being trespassed from this building. Okay. You can't come back unless Why? you're explicitly told by staff here that you can come back. Okay, and is that, because I broke a law? So what law did I break to be trespassed? You refused to leave when they asked you to leave. But that's a secondary offense. So what law did I break to be trespassed from the property? I don't know what you, okay, hey. Because, I'm, because I was conducting business. I'm not gonna argue with you. I hope not, you already have my personal offense. Do you, under, do you understand that you're trespassed? If you're gonna tell me that I'm trespassed, I don't understand why. So I understand the word, what trespass means. I don't understand why I'm being trespassed from a public government building. 
Just because it's a... If you can articulate it reasonably, then I would love to hear it. Just because it's a government building does not give you free reign to be here whenever you want for whatever reason. Okay. It may, be a, it may be a government building, I was conducting but when business. you're asked to leave, if you okay. don't leave, you're committing a trespass. That's not true, but whatever you want to say. Have you been recording since you got here? Absolutely, 100%. Okay, I From need your... I'm seizing your phone as evidence. I'm seizing your phone as evidence. I'm seizing your phone as evidence. Wait, you... You're recording? Have you been recording this whole time? So you have video of all the things I said to you and all the things I've done so far? Ooh. Yeah, I'm gonna need that. Are you really? I need it. I need it. I need it. I need it. Okay, officer. Show the baby Yoda where the camera touched you. Officer, you need it, huh? Well, the first step is admitting that you're powerless over violating people's rights. I know, I know, it's an addiction. Sometimes you just need it. Okay, I'm gonna lock it. Okay, unlawful source of seizure. And how do I get this back? You can get it back after they decide either they don't Who's need that? it. Investigations. Investigations? Yes. Can I get a number? Do you have a card? I'll give you a card. Because I don't want to, I'm not gonna give you my phone. Yes, you are. Why is that? Because it's evidence in You the, asked for my ID, I gave you my ID. Listen, I'm not going to answer your questions if you're going to interrupt me. Every every to search and seizures of my property. It's mine now. It's mine now. It's mine now. Is the way you deputy said? Did the mean First Amendment auditor not give you the phone when you want it? It's mine now. This cop is quite easily the biggest I have ever seen. This cop realized he screwed up. When there could be some accountability, watch the hints this cop will give to try and dissuade the auditor from following up on his own assault. It's evidence. Call it 911. You just touched me. You're getting close to obstruction. You there's understand no, there's that? There's nothing to obstruct. There's nothing to obstruct. Actually, I need, okay. to talk to the, I need to talk to the officer in there right now. Why? Because you just touched me and grabbed my phone. You didn't give it to me. There's no reason for you to have my phone. Listen, anymore. you don't understand the Constitution. I do. You don't understand your rights, and you're obviously just fishing for a lawsuit. And I might have just found one. So, this phone is evidence. You'll get it back when investigations decides if they're a, done with it. If a single piece of that is deleted, I mean, you're shaking. You know. You I'm cold. Know. I'm I, cold is cold what I am. I mean, we could have diffused okay. the situation. You so came in here's, hot. Okay, here's what I need. You're going to go wait on the sidewalk. So and I'm gonna, to I'm gonna bring you a card with a case number on it and all the information that you I, need. Please. When I come back, if you're not on that sidewalk, I'm gonna arrest you for trespassing. I'm gonna, gonna get out of here. You got an outside Okay. Can get a supervisor out here? I conferred with my supervisor before I spoke with you, and, like he, and he agrees. No. I'm on public property right now, just so I'm not yeah, trespassing. Yeah, get on the sidewalk. I'll get back with you. I'd like your supervisor out here right now. It's not a Burger King. I'd like your supervisor out You're here right now. You're not going to get him. I'm requesting a supervisor out here right now. You don't get that just because you ask right for now. it. Right Go now. wait on the sidewalk. Right now. Watch this part carefully. As soon as the cop hawks a big old loogie, he's going to start talking to himself very quietly. No, I'm not lying. This unhinged, one brain cell short of a stapler police officer is actually going to start talking to himself. This video is absolute gold. Would cop violate somebody's rights and then whispers to himself, I've been a good cop? Bro, let's just throw this out into the ethers, deputy. You have not been. But seriously, dude, we're all concerned for you. Go talk to somebody. I mean, not the general public. You have no business being near the general public. But somebody else. Pray tell, deputy. Who exactly is it that's there for you? I mean, is it aliens from another planet? Or maybe you're just replaying in your mind all the dirty that you just did 
and you're thinking about all your fantastically brave brothers in blue and you're saying to yourself, they're here for me. In the most possible creepy way. Well, deputy, we're all here for you. Lending one of these. Is everything okay? You seem unhinged. He's about to be done talking to himself. And now he's preparing to talk to his fellow officers. One of those fellow officers is the very same cop you saw in the beginning of the video that was explaining to the staff that this guy had every right to be there. So this cop already knows it's an uphill battle. It certainly doesn't help that he's stolen his phone and went hands-on when no crime has been committed. This cop has about 10 seconds to practice what he's going to say until he gets in front of the other cops where he actually has to say it. This is the same cop that in the beginning of the video was muting what he said. Can't believe I'm saying this, but maybe you should have remembered the mute button existed before he went all Hannibal Lecter on us. It seems, sir, we meet at the same crossroads yet again. But who, in fact, are we asking to wait on the sidewalk? Because there's no one there. I really shouldn't be surprised because you've been talking to yourself since you walked away from this guy, but who are you talking to? I'm telling you, though, seriously, Wichita, you got to get it together. And good citizen, you shouldn't be a First Amendment auditor. You should be a realtor because you are living rent-free in this cop's head. I'm talking penthouse. Was he recording with the gray phone the whole time? I just know he was recording with a phone. I've okay. one. I got one phone. He pulled out another one. So we're taking that one too? Well, that's what I'm trying to figure out. <laughs> now they're trying to steal Good Citizen's other phone. I'll give it to this cop. He's extremely dedicated. He knows he messed up really bad, and he's trying to cover it up by collecting all the cameras possible so he can delete the evidence. In fact, stay tuned, because his own body cam is going to catch him trying to break into Good Citizen's phone so he can delete the footage himself. But you forgot about one camera. The camera you've been talking to yourself on for the past five minutes. What an idiot. He, he um, was asked me to come talk to him. I said, you need to talk to them. Do you want me to go ask what they saw him recording with? Well, yeah. He was recording with the main phone the whole time that I okay. was here. Whenever yeah. he had Jones. Okay. He's on the phone now, yeah, not he necessarily is. recording. Yeah, he's calling 911. Um, I just need to get one lady's information, get her on a statement form. She's, she's got the ID. You got that, and give him his stuff back, and I think we're good. So, Seven, what's my incident oh, number? Just here for the fun. Yeah. One second. Nothing. I think we're about done. This guy's fishing for a lawsuit. Yeah. That's all he is. But what I tried to explain inside was about the public access. So, and I understand their HIPAA side, but not, not much we can do on that. No, not criminally. <laughs> I said even for us to trespass somebody from the city building takes several incidents.
Here's your ID back. Here's a card with a case number on it, my name and number. You understand that you're trespassed from here, right? I understand that you have unlawfully trespassed me from this property. And you unlawfully detained me. And you unlawfully searched and seized my property. I just need to know that you understand that you can't come back what here. trespass means. Are you done? You're dismissed. Okay, if you come back on this property without permission from somebody in here, you're going to go to jail. Okay. When do I get my phone? Where do I get my phone? How do I get my phone? You can call that number. It's probably going to be a few weeks. Where? A few weeks? Until what happens? Well, they're going to have to get a warrant for your phone to pull the evidence off. And a warrant for what? What crime was committed? Trespassing. Trespassing is a secondary crime. I wasn't committing a crime when you came in there. I was conducting business. I was requesting some... Okay, oh. you're, you're not going to listen to anything I say, so... If you don't have any other questions... Your body cam's on? I'm We're done. That body cam footage. You, you your body absolutely cam? within your right. Can I get your name and badge number, please, since I'm engaging with you as well? Yep. What is it? I did. Badge number? Okay. Okay, okay bye. I got you in my car. I parked on public property. So am I legally allowed to be here? Sorry, was was just talking to myself and forgot there was still one camera left rolling I hadn't stole yet. Some wonky phone. Oh well, I'll leave it on. I think maybe this cop missed the class on warrants. Well, who knows if there even is a class? I mean, they only get six weeks of training, but if there was a class, this guy missed it. And how stupid is he? He still has his body cam rolling, and his body cam is filming his own reflection. And in that reflection in the door you just saw, you can clearly see him trying to break into Good Citizen's phone without a warrant. Number one, he wants to delete the footage, and number two, Good Citizen's phone is still rolling. But fear not, good people, pretty soon he's going to ask the same people that just tried to have Good Citizen trespass to assist him in getting into the phone without a warrant. Oh, yeah, it's okay. Um, Can you let me back, please? They're, they're, in they're in here. Okay, yeah. never mind. Thank you. Talking to you. Hi. Hi. I had to shut his phone off. Do you have an iPhone? Well, they do say it takes a village, but they also talk about the village idiot. I guess both apply here. You have a room full of people who's trying to have this guy arrested for not breaking the law, staring at a cop uncomfortably for like 30 seconds, watching him break into a phone without a warrant. You got a dirty cop standing in front of a bunch of dirty officials, all trying to figure out how to break into a phone without a warrant. Maybe Google can help. Me too. I don't know how this works. Six mobile data is turned off. You'll have to turn on Wi-Fi and connect That's not your network first. No, I know. It's like an Android or something. Um, Just hold like down on, you hold, on the small one. one. I think you hold uh, nope. the bottom, like volume down and power at the same time. If it's a newer one. Hey, it worked. Thank you. <laughs> um, I trespassed him from here. I explained that, you know, if he needs to make an appointment or has a legitimate reason That's to come so here, he can yeah. call and get permission to come back. Yes.
but um, until that happens, he can't come on any of the property. He acted like he didn't understand and that he was some constitutional law expert, yada, sure. yada, yada. So I'm going to do a criminal trespass case. I seized his phone because it's got evidence of him, you know, interacting yeah. with everybody after you told him to leave. Nope, nope, that's not the reason why you seized the phone. In fact, all you fine folks at home can help me compile a list of all the reasons that this cop seized Good Citizen's phone. Number one, he violated Good Citizen's First Amendment right. Number two, he violated Good Citizen's Fourth Amendment right. Number three, negligence. Number four, negligent supervision. Number five, just being an all-around crazy and talking to himself for like 10 minutes. Number six, to keep his job. Number seven, so he doesn't get hit with an insane lawsuit. And number eight, well, because he's a idiot. Um, can I have your driver's license if that's... Already got yes. it. You got it? Okay, yeah. so as soon as you're done with that, we'll get out of here. I'll just list you on the case as the person that called and okay. a witness, basically. And I'd also like the case number, yeah. and then also I'd like to have... I need to have his name. Okay. Um, because that way we can... Um, in the event that he does call, uh -huh. um, that we're ready. Yeah, yeah. Also so we can send it on to um, our legal. Uh-huh. So. Yeah, I'll, I'll write all that down for you. Sure. Um, hey, uh, Deputy Norman, the sheriff's right. office, just uh, basically what we did is we trespassed him. I explained to him that um, if he needs to make an appointment or has a legitimate reason to come here, he can call and ask to come. But until that happens, he can't legally come on your property. Okay, thank you. Then, and so even though there's the that First Amendment right, um, since we are providing services that we're able to tell him that. Yeah, um, I ran it by my supervisor. My understanding is that just because it's county property, that doesn't give him free reign to do whatever he wants. Um, the only county property that I know of that we can't trespass people from are the uh, the parks, like Sedgwick County Park, but okay. Comcare, the courthouse, the zoo, those are all county properties that we've trespassed people from before for doing okay. things similar to what this guy's doing. So I think we're legally sound. That's good to know because that, that could keep some of our clients from coming, and then it gets in the way of us preventing the spread of disease. Yeah, I know. He's... Uh, it's a big problem for you guys, and I understand that. Yeah, yeah. and well, he doesn't thank, have a point. Thank, so thank, thank you for responding and, and helping us on that. Of course, anytime. Yeah. Okay, thanks, Mike. So we will be ready if he uh, happens to pop up over here. Yes. Thanks, okay. Adrian. Should have ran that guy for once. I didn't think about it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, that's what yeah. the city of County. Yeah. You know Justin Whitmer? Mm -hmm. That's my cousin. Oh. Sure, seven job spider. I worked at the jail with him. Okay. Yeah, that's where he was before, and then he's <laughs> over. Yeah, I have a 29, please. I have a 27 code of. Should belong to a Michael German, last of John Edward Robert Mary Adam Nora. First of Michael, comment on that. Go ahead. 
we were requesting to you. I got to meet him from one of our clients. Yeah. Like, don't touch me. I'm not going to touch you. I'm just going to get in your way. They want that big blow up reaction. Mm -hmm. Yep. Well, not everyone wants to be posted, even just in general. I personally avoid cameras all that I can, but. Mm -hmm. What are they doing? So I called Max thinking like, oh, maybe I'll ask him if you need the back. And then I realized that Max is 600 and I was like, I'll just go. Yeah. <laughs> No, he left. I didn't. I didn't arrest him. I can't really arrest for trespass, depending on the circumstances. Um, but he left, so hopefully he doesn't come back. So you confiscate his phone? Yeah, yeah. He wasn't happy about it. <laughs> Lose all his content. Well, the way it sounded is that one only worked off Wi-Fi. Yeah. I think that's why it's prompting you to connect the Wi-Fi in your pocket. So he wasn't like live streaming or anything. Like that. I, just that just I don't video. Know. I thought like he was a YouTuber. Yeah, I think it was just a video. I turned off the video <clears throat> function when I snatched his phone. Wichita PD said. It's been around a few places. He, he mentioned even at City Hall yeah. last week. Yeah, that's what the city cop said. Oh, yeah, okay. go ahead. I did not like when I told him you couldn't go past the doors. He's like, where's the sign that says that? Yeah, I, shut the door, I shut the door and it set it on the door when you shut it. But I was like, I say don't go back there, don't go back there. Yeah, he's, he's just acting like a baby. Yeah. yeah. Everything, place you can't go, doesn't necessarily have a big sign saying you can't go here. Can't come into my house. Mm -hmm. It doesn't yeah. have a sign that says no trespassing, sorry. Yeah. No, it's not a like government soliciting it, it doesn't and stop that's them. the reason we have <laughs> staff here to prevent people from going in places that they don't belong to. <laughs> Well, thank you for coming out so yes. Yeah, no problem. Mm -hmm. Can I give this to you? It's a case number. Yes, yes, yes. And there's my name and number, and then on the back I put his his name and date of birth. It's okay. Michael German with a J instead of a G. So. Oh, wow. thank you.
Yeah, you can call 911 and we can trespass them, kick them out of here. Yeah. So, yeah. They, they seem to okay. um, mm -hmm. hang out in that fence next to the building. Mm -hmm. and and make sure they have the, I don't remember what it is, but they have the number they can call when they're leaving and the camera people. The courthouse. Um, yes. okay. Interesting, when I see the city TV plane, um, LEO said that it was actually county mm -hmm. that had to, um, which I did not know, mm -hmm. um, because we have the 911 all over our phones here. So we initially call city though, correct? We call, we, we so if you call 911, they'll just be like, hey, it's a county facility? We just say the county facility. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, the map that we I mean, have for some reason doesn't show that this is a county building. Probably because we were and, leasing and, it. Up um, the map that we I mean, have for some reason doesn't show that this is a county building. Probably because we were and, leasing and, it. Up um, the map that we I mean, have for some reason doesn't show that this is a county building. Probably because we were and, leasing and, it. Up and to me, this is the best part of the video. In the beginning, the cop was trying to roll with the fact that it's not a public building, it's not a county building, this is a medical building, you can't be in here, and that's the reason I need to trespass you and steal your ID and go hands-on. Well, now again, like the rest of this body camera footage, he sticks his cloven pig hoof right in his mouth and admits that he's known it's been a county building the whole time. Good citizen, when you cash in this lawsuit, give me a call. Buy me a beer. I mean, to be honest, you could probably buy, you know, millions of beers at this point. You're going to be so drunk off this lawsuit. This cop is crazy. Until like a year or two oh, ago. Yeah, so that's a like, It's not a county building, but it is. Okay. Yeah, yeah. When, when I called both times, I did say it was the Cedric County Health Department. <laughs> and, so. and they go off of the map that he's talking about. Oh, so I see. A lot of it will go <clears throat> off of like where you are located on the map and dispatch right. will send whatever sure. bureau. And then they'll be like, like okay. ah, yeah, yeah, this yeah. Is, they may not know. This is my first time actually coming to the health department for a call, so. Um, just doesn't happen a lot, so dispatch probably didn't know. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of properties like Intrust Bank Arena is not part of the city, it's, it's part ours. of the county, so we come, oh, yeah, yeah. and the, the DMV, uh, no, DMV coroner's yeah, office, yeah. calm care, sure. yeah, it's, yeah, they're, they're sprinkled all over, yeah, yeah, would yeah. be county PD, mm -hmm. county. Yes. yes, you know what I mean, yeah, sure, sure, <laughs> thank yes. you, okay, super, well, thanks for out and yeah, no problem. Well, if he comes back, let us know. We'll get out of your hair, okay? Yes. All right, thank all right, you. Thank you. Let's be honest, folks. This video has it all. Dirty cop, mentally unhinged cop, hands-on, rights violated, First Amendment violation, Fourth Amendment violation, coercion, witness tampering, unlawful seizure, unlawful search of seized product without a warrant, engaging civilians and other city and county officials to be duplicitous in your criminal behavior. I mean, it checks every box in all the wrong ways. Good Citizens video links in his channel will be in the description of this one, along with my first coverage of his video. This is Deputy Norton of the Sedgwick County Sheriff's Department in Wichita, Kansas. And I've seen a lot of bad cops, but it's cops like this that have no business being on the street. This guy is a walking liability, not just to his department and not just to the taxpayers, but to you citizens, because one day may come where he gets sick and tired of talking to himself and he decides to act out even worse than he did today. This video is also a prime example of how easy it is to be a police officer. When you're walking around with a 30-pound tack vest, a taser, a sidearm, 
bear spray, access to backup, and almost unlimited financial capabilities, you need to have at least some mental stability. And this comp has none. Sometimes during the audit, you don't realize how brave you are. And watching this video afterwards and then examining the body cam and spending hours combing through this video, I realized just how brave Good Citizen was that day. And he didn't even know it. Because by pulling out his camera and meeting that deputy, he literally took his life in his own hands. So go check out Good Citizen. Let him know accountability for all sent you. Until the next time, that's the reason I stopped you today.